Well, praise God and welcome to Liga Home of Light, everybody. We are in some of the final throws of Galatians. And, and don't get me wrong, Galatians is a wonderful beginning. The good news is next month we're going to be going into the Book of Mormon in light of Christmas as uh, second e5. So while we're while we're still thinking on let's go to Galatians chapter six verses four to six. So get ready. Um because here comes our analysis. Verse four But let every man prove his own work. Okay, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's right. Forgive me. It's it's easy for me. Okay. Yeah. So let me get my bearings again because I'm known to mess up. So, the 26, of course, versus, okay. So, we are doing 7 through 9, forgive me. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap, also reap. Be not deceived. We cannot be given into deceit, okay? And God is not mocked. That's something that is said on the door of the, of the, of the temple. Is that God will not be mocked. Okay, so whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. That is in the principle from the, apostle, the prophet Ezekiel. Chapter uh, 32, verse uh, 27. And they shall not lie with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised, which are gone down to hell uh, with their weapons of war. And they have laid their swords under their heads, but their iniquity shall be upon uh, their bones, though they uh, were the terror of the mighty in the hand of the king. I don't really understand where that goes, but whatsoever man saw it, that shall he reap. That's a pretty powerful principle. Um, this is a guy outside of church courts. His name was Charles Stanley. He says, We reap what we sow. More than we sow, later than we sow. And I believe that with all my heart. Verse 8 says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life eternal. And this is one of my favorite verses of the New Testament. I remember I was asked to memorize it when I was in, when I was 12 years old, okay? Vacation Bible School, summer 1982. Uh, Vacation Bible School was kind of like a summer edition of what was known as primary and to some, to some extent uh, the early young men put into one. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Okay. That's pretty obvious. The Savior chat says this in Luke uh, chapter 3 verse 14. And that which fell among thorns are they that when they <laughs> have heard Go forth, and are choked with cares and riches, 
and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. But he talks about those that are born of good ground, you know. The um, 30, 60, and the 100 fold, the abundance, the abundance of life. And we manifest the abundance by being in well doing and, and inviting the spirit into our lives. And so that's why I think when, when I first heard that verse, Little old Baptist, country Baptist church. You know, summer 1982, vacation Bible school. I thought to myself, awesomeness. This is, this is a verse I can carry with me when I get disheartened. This is something that's going to bless me. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that this helps you and, and blesses you in more the way than not. Now, when I get together Wednesday with you, we're going to finish off Galatians. Friday. We're going to do the first two chapters of uh, Second Nephi. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Leona Light. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Leona Light family. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, remember who you are. Read your scriptures and please, please, please preach the gospel. God bless you.